I hear you ran into Briggsy. About time someone took care of that rotten bag of bones. She used to drink here, in my tavern. When she was alive, I mean. I always looked forward to those nights she arrived, all gold and glamour. I was just a girl then, of course. She used to tell such stories, all about where she'd been and the adventures she'd had. I'd write them all down, add pictures, and dream that I was sailing to those places too. Dad told me not to listen. Nor truth ever roared off a pirate's tongue, he'd say. But kids have to believe in something, don't they? You need heroes to help you grow up. But in the end, I realised two things. Briggsy was a liar, and she was gone. Worse than gone, she'd become another rotten skelly lord, plundering and scaring decent folks. Hey, take my book if you think it'll help. <laughs> I just wish there was more to it than a bunch of made-up stories. Still, if it does leave you anywhere interesting, come back and tell me about it. I want some real adventures to write about. Briggsy really was a great adventurer before the curse. And you know, the matter of everything she said was true. The dreams she left me were real. And those are what matter most. I miss those dreams. The world wants us to grow up so fast, but being able to see every day like it's an adventure, we only learn that when we're young. I reckon that's something worth holding on to. You know what? Still a few pages left. Space enough for me to add stories of my own. This tavern was Dad's dream, not mine. I'm gonna do it. Raise some coin, find a sloop, and live my own adventures, just like you and Briggsy. I'll clean up the relic you found, and pass it on to your mysterious friend. Maybe next time we meet, we'll be out there, 
on the Sea of Thieves.